Hello my dear friends, this is Prashant Mamani here and I welcome all of you in today's geography lecture in which we are going to talk about continents. Now as we have reached Antarctica, so this is going to be the last lecture in continents series. But from continents, we are going to move towards ocean. That means continents and oceans is, a, is in continuation. So in the next topic, we are going to start uh, going through one by one different oceans and then we will uh, go into a bit further details uh, about like trade. Uh, say for example, if we are talking about Indian Ocean, then we will talk about um, oil reserves and how much trade flows from this ocean, etc. Now, before I move on, uh, just like every other lectures, uh, I would like to inform you that if you are preparing for civil services examination, yes, this video lectures are for you. But if you are a parent or if you are a student in a school or college, then this lectures are of course going to add um, value to your understanding. So please uh, go through the complete lecture. So now let's move on. Antarctica. This portion that you can see on your screen is the southern tip or the southern photo. You can say the southern picture of our planet Earth. Now what are the things that you can see in this map? I can see Antarctic Circle. Can you see Antarctic Circle? Yes, I can. I'm sure you too can observe Antarctic Circle here. 66.5 till your 90 degree. This is your Antarctic Circle. Right? This is your frigid zone. And as you can see, a uh, white portion on this piece of land, I'm sure you know that this is covered with ice. We know very well why this place is covered with ice because sun rays are slanting over here. Six month time you have complete nights, there is no day and six months you have complete day, no night. Right? This is uh, the same phenomena that takes place in the northern pole as well. Now we are looking at southern pole. The other interesting thing is you won't find the South Pole right in the middle over here, right? This is your uh, 90 degree for sure, right? But the magnetic field is not exactly located here. It is a bit tilted, but that's the topic of our next discussion. In our future discourses, we will talk about it. But for now, let's just observe. The other thing is that Antarctica does not belong to any particular country. Right, it is uh, accessible to all country for research purposes only. No country can claim any uh, rights on the piece of land or resources on uh, this part of the world. That is the reason you find uh, so many names uh, of names of the countries like Germany, Russia, Japan, and uh, USA, UK, France, etc. And you will also find India as well. This is our research station located in southern uh, continent or you can call it Antarctica. Right? This is Maitri. There is one more uh, <coughs> research lab that India has that is known as Bharati. Uh, there was a, a research lab known as Dakshin Ganga uh, but that is uh, no more. Uh, that is that mission is over. Uh, since 2012, we have started a new mission that is known as Bharti. This is Bharti. This is picture of this is India's research station known as Bharti, and uh, this is Maitri, as you can see, flag of India here. Right. This is Maitri. Of course, this is taken at the time of uh, summer summer of of course uh, Antarctica let's go through some of the details of Antarctica it is known as white continent right it is fifth largest in size 
Uh, it has unique wildlife. Yes, you find wildlife here. Say, for example, penguin. You won't find polar bears over here. You find polar bears only in the northern uh, hemisphere, particularly in the northern, uh, in the nearby North Pole. But you don't find polar bear in southern hemisphere. In the same way, you don't find penguins in northern hemisphere. You find penguins only in southern hemisphere there are some species of penguin that live nearby equator as well but uh, you won't find them in north pole situated within antarctic circle which we have located it is surrounded with southern ocean this whole continent is surrounded by southern ocean it was james cook who found antarctica the credit of finding Antarctica goes to a gentleman known as James Cook. Antarctica uh, is uh, surrounded by an ocean current known as Antarctic Circumpolar Current. Um, if you don't know what is ocean current, then this is going to be a topic of our future discussion in which we, are talk we will talk about tides, we will talk about waves and then we will talk about currents as well. Right, so don't worry about it. 95% of this piece of land is covered with ice and 75% of Earth's fresh water is stored as ice in Antarctica. 75% of Earth's fresh water. The other thing I would like to tell you is that the picture that you can see on the screen is of Arctic circle and you can also say it as a Arctic Ocean or North Pole. Now the difference, the main difference between this part, this part here and this part here, right? Main difference is that this part is also frozen but this is a sea that is frozen here. This is an ocean that is frozen here but this part you have land that is the reason why it is known as continent and on that piece of land you find snow right so this is the difference here you on top of ocean and in Antarctica in the southern side you find snow on top of land so this is a difference it is known as Arctic and the southern side is known as Antarctic. It is a Greek word that is opposite to Arctic that is known as Antarctic. So that's the name here. So that's everything. That's the end of our continent series. I'm sure these uh, lectures are helping you to develop your understanding, learning map, uh, map skills, um, other things that uh, you don't see in your first glance uh, but I hope I'm able to provide you that vision to read between the lines and to you know, develop thorough understanding of geography. So I'll keep it till here and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Goodbye.